simple forms, cubic units, avant-garde styles, unique spaces, all of this and more can be used to describe the late Catalan and yet markedly cosmopolitan architect Ricardo Bufill. This building behind me, Walden 7 in St. Just as Bern, uh, near Barcelona, is probably Ricardo Bofill's most famous work. It is like a maze, like a labyrinth with seven interior gardens, 18 towers, but at the end of the day, it's a block of flats where 3,000 people are living. Bofill was forward thinking, and not only in terms of his architecture and his workshop's multidisciplinary philosophy, but also in terms of his politics, which got him in trouble with Spain's Franquist regime. Well, he was first kicked out of Spain and Barcelona and Catalonia when he was 18, uh, when he was a student, because he was um, republicano and anti-Franquist. And then he started working, and after a few years, um, after a project called The City in Space in Madrid, he had to leave again uh, for more than 20 years. Thankfully, Bofill was able to return and to continue to leave his mark on Barcelona. But he was part of the of the transformation of the 92 and also he brought to Barcelona what the idea of of opening the diagonal to the sea. Ricardo Bofill was also the mastermind behind Barcelona's emblematic W Hotel or Hotel Bella and Catalonia's National Theatre. He's also known for the surreal Red Wall apartment complex in Calp, farther south on the Mediterranean coast. While abroad, he created, for example, the Antico neighborhood of Montpellier. I think that his origin was Catalonia and Barcelona, and uh, that's very important for him. But when you come from a city that is not in the center, um, you need to live with uh, being open to the world. News of his death age 82 was met with profound sorrow in the world of architecture and beyond. This is the salon in Ricardo Bofill's workshop where thousands and thousands of people are paying tribute to his work, to his life, to this genius, uh, to this Catalan architect who became worldwide famous. What can you find here in this tribute? Well, models of some of his works, such as Walden Building, here and next door in St. Justus Ben, but also pictures of him, his family, his work, and especially of him in Africa in uh, the Sahara Desert, where he is to find inspiration and also happiness. Ricardo Bofill, an eternal nomad, will be remembered for his unmatched talent, creativity and innovation.